With St. Patrick's Day around the corner, Pete the Cat sets up a leprechaun catching business. On the big day, Pete gears up to trap a leprechaun for his friends. But catching a leprechaun is never easy, especially if the leprechaun is Clover, who is full of tricks. Will luck be on Pete's side? Oh, hey guys. You won't even be able to guess what I'm doing. I am using this box to see if it's a perfect box to catch a leprechaun. Yes, that's what I said, to catch a leprechaun. Today is St. Patrick's Day, and boy, do I have a story to tell you. Let's head to the thinking chair to find out what a leprechaun is. Do you know what a leprechaun is? Is it real or is it fiction? Let's head to our thinking boards. Let's head to our thinking board. Legend has it that a leprechaun is a type of fairy that stands about as tall as a three-year-old child. A leprechaun is usually described as a bearded man who wears a green suit and hat. It's believed that there are no female leprechauns to be found. Maybe they're hiding. According to stories, the leprechaun is a shoemaker who spends most of his time making and fixing shoes. In fact, some say when a leprechaun is near, you can hear the tap, tap, tapping of his tiny hammer as he drives nails into shoes. These little men are also said to be very mischievous and enjoy playing tricks on those they meet. It's said that every leprechaun has a pot of gold that he hides deep in the Irish countryside. According to legend, the leprechaun must give this treasure away to anyone who captures him. But this little fella won't let his treasure slip away easy. The story goes that the sneaky leprechaun can fool a person into looking away for an instant and just like that he vanishes into the forest home and takes his treasure with him. As you can see, there's so much to discover about a leprechaun. I have the perfect book that I want to share with you. It's called Pete the Cat, The Great Leprechaun Chase. Are you ready to chase a leprechaun? Can you put your two feet together and take a great big jump into the book? Are you ready? One, two, three. Let's go! Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day and Pete's teacher, Mr. G, is teaching about leprechauns. The only time that you can catch one is St. Patrick's Day. A leprechaun will bring you good luck, Mr. G says. Now everyone in the class wants a leprechaun. Pete gets a great idea. He will open up a leprechaun chasing business. St. Patrick Day comes and Pete gathers some supplies. He hangs a sign above his stand. This will be easy, Pete thinks. Squirrel is Pete's first customer. I want a leprechaun, Squirrel says. I need good luck for my test. Cool, I'm on it, says Pete. Pete has a plan. He will follow the rainbow until he finds a leprechaun. Finally, Pete arrives at the end of the rainbow and finds Clover, the leprechaun, next to a pot of gold. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! But Clover is too fast. Did you think that you could catch me so easily, he asks. Once there was a cat named Pete who thought nabbing some luck would be neat. Then he happened upon a smart leprechaun who he'll find it quite tricky to beat. Clover disappears in a puff of green smoke. Pete will need a new plan. That afternoon, Gus visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Gus says. I need good luck for my band recital. Pete says, I'll see what I can do. Pete plans to lure Clover out with his music. He plans a jaunty song on his guitar. Before long, Clover dances over to Pete. Just a little closer, Pete thinks. 
Suddenly, Clover starts spinning around Pete. Round and round, Clover goes faster and faster. Oh, no! Clover wraps up Pete with the rope. Pete has finally met his match, a crafty leprechaun he just can't catch. He'll never win. He better give in or find something else to snatch. That evening, Callie visits Pete's lucky leprechaun snatchers. I want a leprechaun, Callie says. I need good luck for my tennis match. Hmm, says Pete. St. Patrick's Day is almost over. There isn't much time left to snatch a leprechaun. But Pete won't give up yet. Pete sets a trap for Clover. Before long, Clover tiptoes up to the trap and sniffs the air. Mmm, I love candy, he whispered, peering under the box. Pete waits very quietly. Crash! Pete rushes over and checks underneath the trap, but it is empty. Clover skips away. Pete has tried many a prop, but still I haven't been caught. And isn't it dandy I even got candy while Pete ends up with squat. Pete has an idea. He follows the trail of spilled candy to Clover's secret hideout. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! Pete finally catches Clover. Why do you want me? Clover asks. I'm helping my friend who needs some extra luck, Pete says. Luck doesn't come from having a leprechaun, says Clover. You and your friends have each other. That already makes you as lucky as can be. Could Clover be right? Pete is one very lucky cat. A lucky cat doesn't need a lucky leprechaun. He lets Clover go. Pete decides that he will be the good luck his friends need by helping them out himself. Pete helps Squirrel study for his test. Squirrel, it's a sit. Pete helps Gus rehearse for his recital. Gus rocks it. Pete helps Callie practice for her match. Callie wins it. Clover magically appears. Good job, Pete, says Clover. I have one more poem for you. While Clover played hide and seek, Pete learned something unique. The luck that you make be the luck that you take any old day of the week. Happy St. Patrick's Day! The end, end. When the story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in a land of make pretend. Bum, bum, bubbly, bum, ba la 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 la. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like this story and you want to read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. Well, I hope you guys love the read aloud. And if you love the book, you can pick it up from Amazon. And there's some treats that I would like to share with you. There is a poster that's included. And let's see what it says. <gasps> Lucky Cats. So if you purchase this book, you'll be able to have this to hang in your room. Don't worry, I'll leave the link below. Also included in this book, there's another treat. And this treat is not only for just you, this treat is to share with friends. And they are St. Patrick's Day cards. You will be able to give these out. And guess what? Better late than never. So even though today is St. Patrick's Day, you can always get them and hand them out to your friends afterwards. Some of them say, top of the morning to you. Some of them say, happy St. Patrick's Day. And this one says, friends are good luck. This one says, lucky you and lucky cat. And the last one doesn't have any words at all. 
And there's actually not one page, but two. Take a look. Oh, I hope that you are excited. It's so fun to get new and exciting books, especially when they relate to different holidays. We get to learn so much together. Guys, I hope that you had a good time. If you are new here, I hope you liked our read alouds. Don't forget to subscribe. If you are a returning friend, hello, friend. In every moment we don't get to share together, I miss you. Until next time, my friends. So long.